Hey guys, uh, today is 14th of January. I just wanted to chip in uh, to say hi to you guys, like check in. And I want to tell you guys what we are going to do today. As you can see, we have already done our pongal, uh, already done our breakfast. Um, so happy. Today is Friday actually. Um, so by the way, I'm using the foundation powder from um, Makeup Forever. Uh, today is Friday and we actually took off um, firstly to celebrate uh, Pongal we usually don't take off on Pongal I will always take like half day because uh, we will have the Pongal in the uh, late afternoon or maybe like evening but this year the timing for the evening was like very late so we decided to do like very early morning like 7.30 so we are done uh, so for to do the celebration and plus my son is on leave from his preschool every Friday and Saturday then we were like okay it's like already limited that we spend time with him um, so since it's on Friday so we decided to take off and we already done our uh, uh, pongal so now I'm actually getting ready um, to go for a friend's house um, he is actually uh, in, he actually invited us for lunch and i think i can't remember when was the last time i ever go to a friend's house to have a like a lunch or anything so he since we are all mostly on leave so he invited us for a lunch so we are going there but before that since my um, my baby brother's um, wedding is around the corner he's having his engagement next month um, and I need to buy some outfits and attires for three of us, me, my husband and my baby. And I thought, why not we survey at uh, SP first before we decide where we want to buy it. Because usually when we want to buy a uh, traditional outfit, we will go to Penang, the market street. Um, but since we already on leave today, I thought, why not we survey here if we can find anything over here then it will be a little bit um, easier not to travel all the way to Penang but I mean I'm always open to travel uh, till Penang I love to go to Penang but if we can find something over here then we can just stay at home tomorrow and spend some quality time at home um, yeah so I'm going to um, survey today at uh, SP and then maybe at uh, Javi or Pry or Batavad because my friend's house is around there so we are going to survey as much as we could and if we find anything then we are done for the shopping and if not tomorrow we will be going to Penang as well so of course I'm going to bring you guys over there so I wanted to just check in and say hi and tell you guys what is the plan because um, I think hopefully this vlog is going to be a little bit more interesting um, yeah
Hey guys, as you guys saw the previous clips, um, I did not get any luck to buy the uh, items that I wanted to buy in SP and also in Butterworth. There was a lot of clo uh, shops were closed. I don't know whether uh, it was because of Pongal, but certain shop that was written there temporarily closed. So God knows when they are going to open it. So the next day we actually went to uh, Penang and i showed you guys a few selection of uh, the attire that i bought for myself and uh, let me know in the comment down below uh, did you guess which one i bought i bought one of it but which one i bought i want you guys to guess it and let me know in the comment down below to see whether you guys know my taste or not um so shopping is uh, done i just need to do a little bit of alteration um and uh, for boys also done um, so just need to sew my blouse and I'm totally ready for the wedding and also engagement uh, for dinner we haven't decided yet what we are going to do at least my family haven't informed me yet so that is a little bit pending there but obviously I still got time for that and uh, yeah so so that is done so um, I just want to uh, before I end this vlog uh, I want to let you guys know that as a part of me trying to change my lifestyle and everything I actually went to do a full body checkup the other uh, weekend um, I went to this um, uh, hospital metro of course I'm not going to show you guys uh, the result obviously this is very personal um, so I already got the result uh, I have done the um, cancer marker test the thyroid test if you guys don't know that I have a slight growth here uh, but uh, according to the doctor it's nothing it could be just a cyst because it's not growing and it doesn't look harmless and uh, no, it doesn't look harmful um, so uh, yeah so there was no T4 found and uh, my uh, sugar level is uh, under control uh, everything looks okay it's just my uh, good fat and bad fat a little bit like um, out of their boundary already and the doctor told me that it's mainly because I'm overweight right now my BMI is like uh, 28 right now guys I've never surpassed 25 in my life and now it's like 28 so he told me that I have like fats over my uh, liver which he uh, told me that it could be because of the overweight situation so she, he told me like I need to uh, reduce my intake do a lot of exercise like if can cut the carbohydrates from the uh, diet um, so I need to go like a carbohydrate free diet um, so that's what he told me uh, with that I feel like if you before you guys start your journey to cleanse your face your your body detox your things and then you want to do exercise dietitian and stuff like this like that um, before that you need to know the condition of your body and the best thing for you to do that is like doing um, a medical checkup I'm not a doctor or whatsoever I'm just telling you guys my opinion um, and uh, even if you can't do a full test try to at least do a blood test and see your condition uh, me and my husband we do that like every year and last year I skipped it uh, but I wanted to do by this month so I went like since I skipped one year I want to do like a full body uh, test and uh, yeah so I know where my condition is which diet I should go uh, so that I don't just you know blindedly go to a direction and then end up things can get worse especially uh, for like cancer detection and things like that it's it's very much uh, better to prevent rather than to correct the situation um, so if you can know it early then you can chop it off in a very very early stage rather than it's getting to a very um, like a like a last stage so do not wait for that and then uh, for this weekend which I'll vlog separately in a new vlog uh, I'm going to do scaling because that has been like 
or would you like years i have not cleaned my teeth and to know what's the condition i also uh, often have like a toothache uh, on at, at not even like at the tooth itself like a more like a gum area but it's like for a while and then it goes off uh, maybe sometimes when i eat i poke or what i'm not so sure so i decided to go and do the scaling and check what is the, my teeth condition i feel like this health the teeth um, something that we overlook all the time we we do our skin care we do our makeup we want to dress properly we we do things for our family we do things for our house think about our career but at the end of the day we always forgot about our health and also our teeth these two things always like we never bother so i want to do that and i actually want to ask you guys to do the same thing as well go and check your teeth go and check your um, health medical situation and then from there go forward um, because we don't want things to get too late i can't like imagine a life without my teeth and the and the fact that you can do your teeth but then you know it's like you become toothless like the like the dragon from how i train the dragon um, at least his his one is like hidden uh but we can't do that right we are not vampires so i really urge you guys to go and do that for yourself uh but for me i will be doing this uh weekend and i will definitely vlog you guys so i have nothing much to show you guys we have uh, like typosum like my father in law he cooked for 1000 people um there was a request so um, god bless him he did that and then um Yeah, Thai person. We didn't go anywhere. We already done it earlier. If you guys have not watched that vlog, I will put in the description box below so that you guys can watch that. We have done our prayers earlier. Uh, so on Thai person, we actually didn't go anywhere. And then the following day, actually, I got my booster, and then the downtime started. Like <sighs> the hand was so painful. I took Pfizer. Um, hand was so painful. I was like so tired, like fatigue. and uh, uh, the next day i couldn't wake up and then the following day also <laughs> i was like very uh tired and things like that so i thought like oh uh, my god so that those two days like my diet like went haywire because i couldn't eat and then when i start when i'm like suddenly feel so uh, hungry i take my carbo like my rice and everything which for week days i don't do that um yeah so Yeah, I think I feel better right now, so I will be um, restarting uh, my whole diet system uh, from tomorrow onwards. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to say bye to you guys by giving some of the things that I'm doing for this past few days. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next vlog or next video. Till then, bye bye.